what is the etiopathogenesis now etiopathogenesis of inflammatory bowel disease is a complex one it's a complex interplay of a genetic predisposition precipitating factors many of them which are environmental there is a role of positive family history and there is immune dysregulation as we shall see there are some uh, gi infections which can precipitate ibd particularly crohn's disease also mucosal barrier in the intestine when it is disrupted as you may find in altered gut microbiota or with injudicious use of antibiotics they can cause entry of various antigens into the system eliciting a strong inflammatory reaction so it is a complex multifactorial interplay of etiopathogenesis the first thing that we need to discuss are the genetic factors which are implicated which increase the risk of developing ibd first is higher con concordance rates have been found in monozygotic twins compared to dizygotic twins nelson says that concordance rate in monozygotic twins is 36% in case of crohn's disease and 16% in case of ulcerative colitis so if somebody asks you which disease out of these two will have a higher risk of developing in monozygotic twin the answer will be crohn's disease second is positive family history the risk varies between 7 to 30% in the children according to nelson whereas harrison gives a range of about 10% in case of adults so if you see 10% also rise, lies within the same range only so in children positive family history association is 7 to 30% in case of adults according to harrison 20th edition it is 10% a child who has both parents having ibd the risk is more than 35% harrison gives a value of 36% so they are almost identical so if a child is having both parents having either ulcerative colitis or crohn's disease the child will be having a risk of more than 35% you need to understand that positive family history of ibd means if a patient is having ulcerative colitis in the family that does not mean that he will only develop ulcerative colitis he can also develop crohn's disease as well more and more we are understanding that these uh, two types of ibds they tend to have a overlap of the spectrum of course they are distinct di diseases and uh, distinct predisposition factors have been proposed for them crohn's disease shows a greater association with positive family history than ulcerative colitis so twin also family history also crohn's disease will be more common than ulcerative colitis then there is a association associated with genetic syndromes already super specialty mcq on this has been asked so what i have done is i have discussed i have taken clubbed all the genetic syndromes described i have taken the help of nelson robins 20th uh, robins 10th edition and harrison 20th edition so this list is a amalgamation of all three nelson harrison and robins so turner syndrome is a frequent association of uh, these inflammatory bowel disease secondly hermansky pudlak syndrome if you remember we have already talked about this in a separate module hermansky pudlak syndrome patients will have albinism they will have bleeding disorders and they will have increased risk of developing ulcerative colitis and crohn's disease then gsd type 1b glycogen storage disease type 1 is the usual von gerk disease there is a variant of it called as 1b in which the translocase the transporting enzyme is deficient and this is the variety which is associated with high risk of ibd rarely this syndrome this ibds may be associated with viscott aldrich syndrome ipex syndrome and ankylosing spondylitis ankylosing spondylitis association is strongly seen with patients of ulcerative colitis than crohn's disease